hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added the health system now from this video we will add the energy system to the player so let me tell you how the energy system will work it will work in this way for example if the player is running around in the environment or you can say that when this movement value is 1 okay then the whole time period when this movement value is 1 at that time we will decrease the player energy and when the player energy is less than or equal to zero then what we will do we will set this movement value to 0 0.5 and as you know that when this is equals to 0 0.5 then as you can see the player just simply walks okay so in simple words when the player has energy then the player will run and if the player doesn't have any energy then the player will simply walk in the environment so now for adding the energy on the player script at the top right here we will create a private float by the name of player energy which will be equals to 100 and then after this we will create another float it will be a public by the name of present energy then after this in the awake method we will set the present energy to the player energy and after this if we scroll down right here at the bottom let's create a public method by the name of a player energy decrease it will take a float as a parameter let's name this float as energy decrease then we will say present energy minus equals to energy decrease so for example if every second we decrease the energy from the player of a value of 0.2 then 0 0.2 will be minus from the present energy and as you know the present energy is equals to player energy which is 100 okay so now let's go ahead and add a value to this energy decrease for this at the top inside the update method right here at the top we will say that if the player is running okay so for that we will say animator dot get float we want to get the movement value okay then we will say that if this movement value is greater than or equals to 0 0.9 then add 39 after that as well so the total number of 9 will be 4 okay so if the movement value is greater than that then it means that the player is running and when the player is running we will decrease the player energy so we will say player energy which is the method which we created right here and as you know it requires the parameter so to that float we will pass a value of 0.02 so whenever the player is running we will decrease the player energy now after this what we want to do that we want to check that if the energy is less than or equals to zero then we will make the player walk and if the energy is greater than or equals to one then we will make the player run okay so right here let's add a if condition first of all we will say that if the present energy is less than or equals to zero then it means the player doesn't have any energy to run so we will stop the player from running so how we will do that we will first of all make the movement speed of the player to two so we will say movement speed equals to two then after this we also want to set the movement value of the animator to 0 0.5 as well so that the player plays the walking animation so for that first of all we will say that if the player is not pressing the movement button okay 
so we'll say input dot get button let's get the horizontal and then after this we will get the vertical so let me copy this and right here instead of the horizontal now we will say vertical okay so if this is the case then the movement value well, will be zero because the player is not pressing any button okay any movement button so let's set the movement value to zero okay then copy this if condition paste it down below and this time we will say that if the player is pressing the movement button or the rotation button then the movement value will be set to 0 0.5 okay and when this is set to 0 0.5 then let me show you the animator right here when this is set to 0 0.5 then the player will simply play the walking animation okay so what this whole if condition means that if the player if the player doesn't have any energy then we will set the movement speed to 2 and also we will make the movement value of the animator to 0 0.5 so that the player movement speed and animation is perfectly set to walking okay now after this we will say now that if the present energy of the player is greater than or equals to 1 for example then this means that the player has energy so when the player has energy we will just simply set the movement speed of the player to 5 okay as you can see right here so we will say movement speed equals to 5 and this time we don't have to write this if else condition because when the movement when this uh, if condition is called then the movement speed will be equals to 5f and then the movement value of the animator will automatically increase to 1 okay and then the player will be able to run okay so now we are decreasing the player energy and then according to the player energy value we are making the player walk and run based on the present energy level okay so now for example if the player energy is equals to zero okay then of course we didn't type any code for resetting the player energy back to 100 so let's go ahead and do that okay in most of the games uh, as you notice that after some seconds the player energy just automatically resets and the player is then able to run again so we will use the same technique right here as well we will set the player energy back to 100 after 5 seconds so in order to do that we will create a enumerator by the name of set energy and in here what we will do we will s first of all set the present energy to 0 then we will make the player wait for 5 seconds so for that we will say yield return new wait for seconds we want to wait for 5 seconds and then after that we will set the present energy back to 100 okay now after this if we move right here so when the player is walking okay right here we will now call this enumerator method which is by the name of set energy okay so when the player is walking okay then we will allow the player to walk for five seconds and then after five seconds the energy will be resetted and as you know that when the energy is reset the movement speed will be equals to five and the player will be able to run again okay so if we save the script now get back to unity click on the player as you can see here is the present energy for now let me just deactivate both of this knight okay so that they don't attack us and we can freely test our other functions of the game okay so now here is the present energy and the present health okay now if we walk in the environment as you can see 
when the movement value is equals to 1 or you can say greater than 0 0.9999 as you can see the present energy of the player is now decreasing so now let's walk in the environment okay and wait for this value till it reaches the zero limit okay so it is 10 now 5 4 3 2 1 0 as you can see when it is equals to zero the player is walking as you can see and as you can see after five seconds the energy is set back to 100 okay now let me make this as 10 okay and let's walk as you can see it is decreasing and when it is set to zero now as you can see the player will be walking for five seconds and after five seconds the player will automatically run in the environment okay now with the player health and player energy added let's end this video right here